Joey Behar caught dead naming Caitlyn Jenner. Will she be canceled as well? This is f from our editor's choice report. And our top, uh, I'm calling this the woke champion, Joy Behar, caught on high, hot mic, dead naming Caitlyn Jenner. But we're going to call the, the video version of this white queen of woke, caught betraying woke by dead naming Caitlyn Jenner. I'm particularly proud of that title, I got to say. And uh, yeah, comment down, on, down below if that's true, if it's an awesome title, that is. So with that, we have our first thing here. It's from Louder with Crowder, and I always like to give this caveat. Louder with Crowder is absolutely. It doesn't, you know, their politics USA is is on the left. The quote-unquote left is as, as awful as Louder with Crowder, but you could say Louder with Crowder is as awful as them. But sometimes politics USA has truth, and sometimes Louder with Crowder has truth. Even, well, I want to call them horrible monsters. That would be judgmental. I don't want to do that. But even, even unreliable sources, if you will, can be reliable sources at times, even if accidentally. In this case, well, this, this, this actually really fits with his whole shrillery narrative, the angels and demons narrative that these types of folks push. But there's, there's, there's a lot of truth to this. Now, there is a video embed here, but it's of his whole show, and I'm not going to play part of that video embed. But what he says is here is, when is an insurrection not an in insurrection when the media can exploit it for political reasons? We expose how. Okay. Also, Joy Rahar was busted misgendering Caitlyn Jenner. We pinpoint the exact moment she realizes she crew screwed up. And Haspian, happy lesbian day of visibility to all who celebrate. And just, uh, let's just, we don't, we don't need to hear that. Let's see if we can get to where he's actually going to talk, talk about Joy Behar. Yeah, uh, here we go, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what old Joy has to say here. The moment of the screw-up here, the quote-unquote screw-up. There you go, Joy. Come on, Joy. Speak to me. <laughs> well, I think I just didn't get enough sleep last night. I oh, had no attention yeah. of yeah, uh, sure. fixing them up, but, and I tried to correct it immediately, but whatever. <laughs> Three times okay. when talking Three about times? it. Here's oh. a clip. Three times? Yeah, Sonny, he's got this guy, Brad Pascal, uh, running his campaign. What do you think Two. about that? I mean, that guy was, uh, was that accused guy? of using uh, campaign <laughs> funds to enrich himself. What? Oh, boy, let's That's see. That's running his yeah. campaign. <laughs> or her campaign, rather. Three. Yeah. Okay, she, wow, she's down. Yeah. <laughs> now, what, well, let's see what she says. Let's see what Sonny says. Because Sonny looked concerned there. Uh, Very concerned. Right. I, I would go, go along again. with that. I think that he should, uh, she, rather... Four. Four, four times and let somebody with the credentials take over so first of all let me apologize for my pronoun mix up. <laughs> I, I think i just Bro didn't get enough sleep last up. night i didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't get yeah, enough yeah, sleep sure. last night right. oh and please I forgive to me it please but forgive whatever me. it just came out so i'm sorry <laughs> whatever <laughs> oh that's that. could i have avoided the there you go so so the problem of course with the woke uh you know i was listening to dallas willard today because uh, somebody that I spoke to on the Meaning Code channel, she had recommended this video, Karen. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the Meaning Code channel, you should be. Awesome stuff going on. She's a fellow Christian. And uh, he was talking about how when you live by the the Spirit of the Lord, well, I don't want to mis mis misrepresent him, but in essence, how, when you live by the Spirit of the Lord, it leads you to, well, forgiveness, to grace, you're you're not you're not you're not judging people. Maybe I'm mixing him up with someone else, but uh, you're either way. <laughs> you're 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 not judging people the way that the non-believer judges people. The way the non-believer judges people, they're, they're looking to catch you, they're looking to condemn you, and they're looking to throw you in prison and keep you there for all eternity, because they themselves know that that's the the the, the fate that they face. Uh, whereas in the Christian life, we we judge we judge in a, in a spirit of discernment. Our judgment is, brother, sister, or our, our friend, uh, whatever the case might be. You are you're heading towards uh, a disastrous path, and we want to let you see where you're heading, and we seek to to restore you. Even when Paul talks about giving people over to the devils, the demons, the purpose of giving people over to the demons is for the restoration it's a hope for the restoration and in in the case of the woke uh whatever you want to call them the spirit is to find the sinner 
condemn the sinner and make sure they pay the price. So Joy Behar is is one of the, the biggest champions of the woke. That's why I'm calling this video the white queen of woke, caught betraying woke, because she is the white queen of woke, but one of many white queens of woke, the, the, the pretenders, the... The, the, the one the wannabe priest kings or priest queens uh, of the woke uh, most of them are are, are highly white uh, the, the some of the most self-righteous of the quote unquote woke are the white the white millionaire billionaire types are are or hangers on of these millionaire billionaire types that want to own the righteousness of wokeness so that they can cut off their enemies from their competition basically but to them competition and enemy are the same thing and here she is caught in the act of basically violating the rules of wokeness now the question is will she be condemned will she be destroyed well she won't be yet and so long as she does not pose a threat to higher level priest queens or priest kings, she'll probably get away with this uh, egregious error of dead naming Caitlyn Jenner on national TV. Not once, but four, but maybe five times before she finally corrected. And then she comes back with, yeah, but forgive me. Now she wants forgiveness. Now she wants grace and mercy, but she offers no grace and mercy to others. This is the parable of the the debtor the 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 person who the master says you owe me money throws he's gonna throw him and his family in jail for owing him money and the guys please have mercy okay i'll have mercy christ this is what christ has done for us on the cross he's given us mercy we've all, we have a glory already received and uh the the joy behar is the debtor that uh has this forgiveness she has the same access to forgiveness and grace and mercy that we all have and she has it, and yet, she, while she wants to continue to have that forgiveness and grace and mercy, she does not offer it to others. And, well, there you go. That's the end of this report. Good luck, Joy. Good luck, Joy. Just hope that you don't ever get to a position where you fundamentally challenge someone's power higher up in the, in the Wokatarian hierarchy. Because if they do, they'll take this clip, and they'll use it against you to destroy you. So good luck. Good luck with uh, with uh, moral supremacist purity. Good luck.